too. Yeah, he is. He's also completely motionless other than his hands. That's actually quite, <laughs> that's quite intimidating, to be honest. It's a little bit intimidating. A little bit discerning. All right, so meanwhile, the, uh, the crowds are starting to kind of gather all around the place. We've got, we've got a whole lot of people standing up, waiting around. It's, uh, it's getting pretty intense when it comes to the, the pointy end of, uh, of this tournament. Obviously, the top 64, we've kind of whittled it down to the, uh, the top quarter. But uh, even after that, obviously, the brackets are only going to get smaller and smaller until just one remains. And who will that be? We do not, do not know. We do not know either. Sending a couple of messages, you know, what with being <laughs> incredibly popular and all. Sorry, I'm just kidding. Hello. I was just saying hi. Saying hi to, hi to, hi to people. Cool, cool. Um, righty, Kaiser's just uh, gone for a wander. He's, uh, I don't know, just getting grabbing a drink. Maybe having, having a chat to Juon. Uh, God only knows what uh, what's going through their minds right now. But, uh, yeah, it seems like, it seems like uh, even when it comes to the commentary too, everyone's... Uh, there have been a lot of upsets being made. We've had uh, even uh, Chip, for example, making it to top 64 on the winner's side, no less. Uh, he just played against Extra. I believe he did lose, unfortunately. But uh, let's, uh, let's take a look. So I heard, was that Ari and, and who, sorry, on Mainstream? Let's take a look. Oh, let's take a look here. All right. Um, let's find out. Only time will tell when it comes to who sits down. So going through some other results through the uh, bracket, we can see that Rust beat Jay Dizzle. What Damn. the? I think that was what that pop-off over it, there was it from. It must have been. Rust is back. He's been playing like League, being absolutely like a DJ in his room playing League. Fantastic. Not coming out to Smash. Come, brings back his Inkling to take a Jay, Jay Dizzle. Massive upset. Stabby J has taken out Luma uh, with a 2-1. So meanwhile, we've got Aya and Fierce here as well. Now, uh, Fierce being a member of the uh, Battle Cap Bunker team uh, out at New South Wales. Now, I unfortunately, I'm not too aware of, uh, of, of the member here known as, uh, as Aya, but uh, I'm very fascinated to see what he can bring to the table right now. Uh, I believe it's going to be on the... Oh, my goodness. Wait, okay, hang on. So, oh, no, it'll be, I think it's going to be down on the loser side right now. Uh, so that's what we're going to be looking at right now, the uh, Aya and uh, Fierce right there. There we go. Uh -huh. So the winner of this is going to be going up against Ignis as well. Yes. All right, so BKB is being typed out as well. Incredibly uh, proud of not only his hometown, but also his, uh, his home team as well. BKB, a great item in Dota 2 as well. Love <laughs> the Black King bar. Well, there you go. Uh, now, I don't know whether that might have been intentional in their naming scheme, but uh, only you know only only the Battle Cat Man himself will be able to tell you. So uh, we'll, we'll have to find out. But in the meantime, just Aya, just being created. Just simple, three letters. Simple that. Right, grab, jump, all the, all the best parts of a, of a kit. I mean, obviously you need to grab, you also need to jump too in this game. Uh, yes. anyone, anyone telling you otherwise is a fool. Uh, so let's, let's see what, uh, what both of these players can bring to the table. Now, Fierce as well is going to be, I believe, a mix of uh, both Game Watch, if I'm not mistaken, as well as, uh, uh, as, well as a Zelda. But uh, let's, let's see. I believe he used them at least in bracket yesterday. Uh, now, I am not too familiar, but uh, it'll be incredible to watch and see how he goes against uh, such an annoying, but also such a, such a, such a wacky character as Game & Watch uh, were that choice to come out. Yeah, I, I Game & Watch character, you just need to have your wits about you. Up the out of shield, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff down. All the smash attacks, amazing. Uh, yeah, so we got Mega Man coming up against it. Yep. Okay. So it's going to be, I feel like we're going to be in for quite a patient game right now. It's going to be, whoever can find their opening first is really going to run away with it. And I'm not sure you, I'm not an expert on the bucket interaction in this matchup either, but... Now, I, I would I would assume that a bucket can absorb uh, Mega Man's forward smash. Yep. Uh, I believe, other than that, I would assume it's actually just going to reflect. Actually, no, it should also absorb the Crash Bomber too, uh, being uh, Mega Man's side B, because it yes. does have sort of fiery properties to it. So I believe that'll be absorbed. Roll back onto stage. And the forward air bomb. There it is. There Let's go. go reflect. Already, he's already won. He's got the reflect off. <laughs> he's got the first reflect off. All right, now Fierce just kind of creating a bit of a, a bit of a battlefield for Mega Man to try and uh, try and navigate with all these forward airs. 
Both players have having bombs. very good patience with their shield game, um, knowing the stuff that can come out of shield. Absolutely. Oh wow, just sniping him out of the air with his own uh, with his own metal blade. Alrighty, look at him. Jeez, oh, Louise, B BKB more like B52. He's dropping bombs everywhere. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, I'm just dropping those uh, dropping those shields as well. Trying to wait for a parry, maybe on the on the uh, get up attack now. Uh, smash out a shield into up B and then the uh, tornadoes. Yeah. Now, a difficult thing to keep in mind as well about the the difference between Mr. Game Watch and Mega Man is uh, probably a, a lot of weight. I think Mega Man's yes. going to be quite chunky. Uh, Game Watch, meanwhile, is going to be, I believe, like third or fourth. Oh wow! Third or fourth lightest in the game, and he absolutely showed it just there. Forward smash, copping that straight to the 2D noggin. Yeah, eating for breakfast. And there it is. Oh, nice. Yeah, there he go. did bucket. Very clever. And it's I think yeah, they're looking full, yeah. So you might want to save that. Yeah, save it for a rainy day because I feel like uh, I feel like that's going to do pretty well for him actually. Right, nice. Oh, oh unfortunate missing is. that yeah. bucket. I feel like now that I, now that I have seen the, uh, the the bucket coming out, I feel like it's going to be something he's going to be a lot more wary for. He doesn't want to be using it too often. Oh, All there right. we go. Landing with that forward air. There we go. Landing straight on top of Mega Man's head there. Yeah, only 30% for the uh, the stock, so keeping it reasonably even. And the normal Mega Man walling stuff. Pellets, leaf shield. Ooh. Fortunately getting up straight into that forward smash. Yeah, the, the stage get-ups are really not in the favor of Game Watch here. Yeah, again, reading that roll as well, getting to the up smash. Oh, jeez Louise. Yeah, getting up straight to the up B as well. Such a fast option and also just a great get-off tool. 109% on Mr. Game Watch. This is not looking too good right now for the second stock. Alright, falling straight past the Mega Man's blaster. Yeah, again, great uh, great options and great movement there from, from IR. Getting away from uh, from Fierce once that uh, Leaf Shield hasn't worked out for him. Yes, and I think Fierce has really got to get some more of those. Uh, I think there's a bit more combo extension possible with, with Game & Watch with some of those up -bees. Absolutely, yeah. That back air as well. Almost. Oui. Oh, wow. Up being straight it. through it. Yeah. Planks it. Right, that back air coming out incredibly quickly for Mega Man as well. It's such a dangerous kill option. Yeah. And 149, it definitely will kill, I'd say, from most parts of the stage, if not all. Yeah, forward airs and back airs from Mega Man would be very crucial here. Oh, oh, no. Gets straight up into it. Now, Aya has a pretty commanding lead. But, uh, I mean, look, if anyone knows Game & Watch, he's uh, he's got that side, but he's got a lot of really, really great combo options too. So uh, it's going to be pretty pretty tough there. Again, the up just out of the shield straight away. Oh wow, pelleting the bomb there as well. Basically any hitbox which uh, which planks with the forward air is going to be enough to break it. And uh, the pellet is definitely going to be enough in that case. Yeah, Mega Man having a tough time getting back on stage from the air and from the side. And Ooh. that patience in getting back is going to undo uh, Fierce if he tries to hold on too long uh, with that forward smash. It might not be this one, but he's been hit by so many. I feel like you've got to make up your mind about how you want to get up almost before you've even grabbed the ledge when you're up against the Mega Man. And yeah, without a doubt. Oh, okay. Absorbs yeah, two yeah. pellets. And that's what I was hoping to see maybe a bit more of. It feels like easy bucket feed, you know? Yeah. It seems like it seems like bucket's such a difficult thing to uh, to sort of be calling out for Mega Man because on top of that, he's also got so many really, really strong kill options in him from a sort of melee side. Oh, Ooh. yes. There we go. Forward tilt with a bit of rage as well. The Lion Tamer comes out and the, uh, the Mega Man drops. Alright, oh, okay. there it is. He's got the bucket. He's on got the lock. bucket. This is actually there's some potential here, but oh just missing the forward air. And back, we got the back air, air on the edge. other hand will take it. There we go. 13 Craddock percent only. Wild. Yeah, very, very intense match here. Uh, now Aya has to whisper to Fierce because there's gonna be so much noise in the background that no one else is gonna be able to hear him. Goodness gracious. So uh, again, a very, very uh, patient match between the two players, and I think decisive I think switch to Kalos. Yeah, need even more space. All right, so let's see what Mega can happen Man. here. Blue and white Mega Man still sticking, tried and true. It looks like Fierce is just looking, uh, looking at himself in the camera up on the wall. He's like, "Hey, Mum, that's me." Uh, he's very, very proud of himself to be making it onto stream and making it this far as well into the uh, couple of rounds into the losers top 64. Uh, it's a pretty good effort and a great effort for BKB, so that's probably where all these cheers are coming from too. One bucket charge. 
from the saw blade, taking some damage. One back air, and a second is not connecting. Already getting in there with the dash attack. Now, uh, interesting enough it, enough, it seems like uh, Game Watch is almost kind of going for, you know, just he's still being incredibly aggressive. Um, not, oh, it doesn't get the forward air land, unfortunately. I feel like the, the dash attack of Game Watch has really not been utilized as much as it could be. Mm. It's, uh, it's an excellent dash attack and very good for punishing that spacing. It is indeed. I feel like as well, yeah, that the bucket, considering how many options are... There we go, the bucket sending downwards, getting a bit of damage on Aya too. Alright, now let it shield to the side. Absolutely. And the platform roll in, that could have been very risky. Oh, the shield, shield pressure. Yeah, My very low. goodness. Uh, and again, he's using that rising back air as well, actually poking through the shield of Mr. Gamer Watch. Interestingly enough, that bucket didn't actually reflect anything. Oh, okay. Up smash almost, uh, almost catching out Mega Man, but the forward air slicing just off to the side. Oh, wow. Very, very, I guess, lucky approach there from Fierce, for, for want of a better term. Getting right. a spike. Down oh. with the key. Goodness gracious. Sawblade up into the air. And oh, they could oh, be followed up. Boat. Oh, that was almost Dragon Ball Z there. They were kind of just floating right next to each other. Now, he's going to go deep for a kill there with the back air. No, he's not. But the back air of Mega Man, not going to kill either. Not even going to touch him. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Up smash out of shield. A quiet breeze would have been enough to take Game of Watch of that, but an up smash would be just as fine. It looks go. like we've got a charge bucket. It does indeed. Yeah, that's what's going to happen if he ever gets stuck, though. Uh, he kind of wants the crash moment to be stuck to him. Oh, no. Uh... Misses the bucket. Such a shame. Now, I don't know exactly how powerful that bucket's going to be when it absorbs a crash bomber. I can't imagine it would be anything less than uh, devastating, though. No. Yeah, I think he's being a little too cerebral with the bucket as well. Absolutely. Either that or maybe some misinputs. Mis 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 nice, getting the back air. Now, I don't really know if there's anything that's really going to combo into the bucket either. So I might be interested to see as well. Oh, okay. That's the first <laughs> time we've seen Judge come out, actually. Oh, nice. Getting with the up air. Not going to kill those. Still 187. Yep. Super high percentage. There we go. Just running straight up. Lion comes out. That forward tilt. Yep. That'll be enough for it. Indeed it will be. And then some. That's as strong as strong as anything moving. It comes out really quickly too. It just hangs there for a long time. Oh. Sends out a single little bit of back in. Just making sure everyone's had breakfast. Second dash attack. And there it is. As I say, really nice to punish the spacing. If you can see your opponent overextend or just miss input, that's a great way to deal with it. Air on platform, yeah, up B. That's good. Go. It's, it's quite even actually. Oh, oh, this is this is the place you don't want to be. Oh, okay, jumping in with the shield though, beautiful stuff. All right, slicing a little bit there. Game and watch. Oh, catching oh, a great right. tech. Oh, nobody air dodged. No. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I think he must have buffered an air dodge after the uh, after the tech. That's not ideal. All right, but getting that landing hit as well of the back air. Great shield pressure as well. That forward air actually hitting both uh, both in the air and on the ground too. Yeah, I got to be feeling really happy with that. Seventy-one percent doesn't mean a lot to Mega Man when you're that heavy. Oh, nice getting a cheeky little flex. Doesn't really do that much damage though. All right, he's gonna have to get a bit of a hell mary. I think he's gonna need to get a bit of a uh, get a bit of lady luck on his side with that side B. Yeah, for Mega Man, you're just gonna get safe damage here because any damage right now is just free. It sets you up for the end of the the game really nicely. Looking for that down smash. Would have gotten a kill out of it too. Oh, go. what a conversion! Oh. oh my goodness. Wow, wasn't expecting that. He was trying to just DI out of that. Yeah, I think the DI was a bit suspect on that. Um, but a representation of the dominance that uh, the eye was showing there. Absolutely, yeah. Just going straight for the, the uh, metal blade of the, what, angled upwards into the left as well. It's such a strange angle and going straight to the forward air. Great, yep. great awareness from Mega Man. And uh, great awareness from Aya as well. So uh, unfortunately, I believe, seeing as that was on the loser side, Fierce is now out of the uh, out of the competition. Yep. But uh, making a pretty respectable run for himself as well. Strong showing.